Hi everyone and welcome to this week's tag tip. So today we're going to talk about place join with preview. This is a good option in case you need to create customized join conditions for your corners. Uh, let's say that you went over the default options that we have, but you couldn't find the one that you actually need. So what you can do is uh, you can duplicate, use the default one as a template and create new join conditions, or you can just edit the existing ones. So I'm going to come here to the corner here of my project and I'm going to select my two walls and we're going to hit place join with preview. So once the dialog box shows up, I have here my default join definitions for wood and for light gauge. And what you want to do is just go over the list and try to find the one that is closer to what you need. And you can use that as a starting point. So let's say, for example, if I select this one, uh, again, you can either just edit the ex existing member or you can duplicate that one and create a new join type. So if we hit duplicate, you will be able to also add a name, a new name for it. So let's say this will be just test. Um, you can also set up the preview here so you can visualize a little bit better. Um, let's say, for example, I'm going to use my 600 uh, family type because I have a six inches wall here in my preview. And this will not impact in the join itself. Again, the join will always follow what you have in your template. This is just for you to visualize a little bit better. And you can also set this up to thin lines so you can see the details also in the preview. Okay, so let's say that what we want to do now is just duplicate this member and maybe create one here at the top. So what we want to do is hit the copy option. And now we're going to hit move. And now we need to, to select the stud that it's going to be our reference. So just don't forget that uh, you're not going to select the stud right away. You do need to set uh, to select the action that you are using and then the stud that you will be using as a reference. Select the stud. And now we are going to add a running offset. So if I want it here and I know that my structural layer is six inches, I'm going to add a running offset of six inches. If it's a positive value, it will always go forward. If it's a negative value, it will go uh, backwards. Okay. So now this is my new member. The other options that you have is to rotate. And again, uh, we can just uncheck the copy, hit rotate and then hit in member. And once you click, it's going to rotate once. If you click again, it will rotate in different ways. So depending on how you click, it's going to rotate one way or the other. And the other thing that you can do is also uh, delete the member. So let's say uh, this is not what I wanted. Um, Join is going to hit delete and click on delete. Okay, so let's just copy this again. Let's hit move, select the member, add our running offset of six inches. And let's say that this is the final result that we are expecting. So let's just click OK. And now it's going to automatically place that join condition that we have just created. Once you go ahead and create your panels, you're going to see the member, the new member that we added. So there it is. And uh, if you go back, for example, let's say if I select another corner here, let's just delete, delete this one. So let's say if I select the same corner again and I go here to place join, you're going to see that the one that we've created will be in the list as well. Okay, so you can go ahead and create other ones if you need. So that is it for this week's tech tip. See you guys next week.